Okay, so if I'm not mistaken, multiplayer was your big uh, focus in Uncharted 2. I was the lead multiplayer designer, that's right. And yeah. uh, now you are directing the third installment, yeah. so it's a nice promotion. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, nice. I guess that comes with a lot of new responsibilities. Mm -hmm. uh, what was your task in uh, this third game? Uh, so it was everything. Uh, you know, the big thing was making sure that, um, you know, I worked with Amy Hennig, our creative director, to make sure that the gameplay we were designing lined up with the story uh, in the way we wanted to make sure that the story she was creating, you know, was. Um, you know, we were trying to hit the same vision, right, that our gameplay sort of matched what we were trying to do with the story and make sure that the, the big moments all intertwined correctly and that it felt like you were playing this, you know, game you couldn't put down, you know, like all the story moments led into these great gameplay moments, led back into story moments to try and keep all that stuff coherent. Oh, yeah. So uh, let's wind the clock a little while, a okay. little bit, to 2009. <laughs> okay. Uh, Uncharted 2 came out yeah. and won, like, uh, one million Game of the Year awards <laughs> yeah. around all the world. Something industry. like that, yeah. <laughs> Um, I guess you were very proud, of course, of yeah. the product. And uh, but how did you inf uh, how did it influence the production of the third one? I guess uh, I mean the pressure must be unbearable. I mean you have to keep up with the standards. Yeah, I guess. I mean I think the thing was for internally we put even more pressure on ourselves than sort of the external pressure. And so mm -hmm. we wanted to we could have just designed the same game again, and we didn't do that. I think we we sat down and said like how can we do something that's really different and, and feels still feels like Uncharted but it's a different style of game. And so um, we tried to blend the. I think we did a better blend of the action adventure, sort of climbing exploration, the gunplay, the melee, and the puzzles. This game, we sort of did a better sort of up and down yeah. cycle with that, and uh, and that was something that was really important to us. Uh, you know, obviously we try to increase our visuals. You know, like put even more stuff on screen, make the game look even better, uh, make the story you know even more compelling. All those different things, uh, but. You know, ultimately, I think Uncharted 2 was like lightning in a bottle. You know, it was like the right group of people at the right time, the game the industry wanted. Uh, you know, it was an amazing game, and I'm, I'm fortunate I got to work on it. And uh, I think I'm, I'm as proud of this one, though, as I am that one. I think uh, I think we did a good job with it. Okay. Uh, so the, the the Uncharted series has always been uh, based around legends, historical figures, and mytholo mythology. Mm -hmm. How important how important do you think that's been to the success of the game? Uh, it's a good question. I don't know. I mean, I, I you know, if we if we didn't. If we hadn't done that, right, yeah, is the question, I guess. Um, I don't know. I think uh, I think staying true. I think there's something really nice about the pulp genre. You know that like there's sort of this action adventure hero who's a kind of an everyman who you know has his own problems and you know doesn't come through unscathed and stuff. And I think uh, we tell a really compelling story with very interesting characters. And uh, part of that is going to these exotic locations and exploring these mythologies. I think you can't take away one or the other. I think you have to have both. Um, so yeah, I'd say it's it's pretty important to the to the franchise. I think it's. It's, it's it's at a core of what Uncharted is. Yeah. It's Uncharted, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so guessing from what we've seen already, uh, sand will be an important uh, aspect of the game. Mm -hmm. uh, why choosing some, something so difficult to render and simulate? <laughs> and um, can you tell us maybe if the if the sand has an effect on Drake, or is it just uh, just is it aesthetical? Value or sure. does it has some? T uh, does it play, play a role in the game? I don't want to say too much. I mean, it definitely plays a role. Even in multiplayer, it plays a role in the game. So there's definitely gameplay elements there. So that's all. Like the sandstorm, the yeah, like the vision sandstorm, is reduced. Exactly, stuff like that. Um, you know, and it also, you know, you have to roll through it and all those different kinds of things. So, um, yeah, there's definitely sand gameplay that that affects the game in direct ways. So I won't say more than that. Uh, but the reason we chose it is part part of the reason we chose it is that it is so hard. You know, mm -hmm. we want a challenge. We want to. Like I said, we don't want to sit on our laurels, so we want to prove that we can do it again, right? We can come out of the gate and do something that's going to blow people away. And, and one of the elements we had never done before was sand. And so it was, a, it was a good challenge, and it was in the right part of the world where we wanted to go. So. Okay. Um, with Uncharted, it's always going bigger, better, better and crazier. Mm -hmm. First, we, we had the exciting train level in Uncharted 2. Mm -hmm. Now we have the cargo plane, the cruise ship. Yeah. Uh, and probably some more There's some more stuff you haven't seen yeah, yet. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Um, how do you even start on such a huge, huge scale project? From where do you get the inspiration to? All over the place. I mean, basically, so with Uncharted 2, uh, one of the first things they started building was the train. Like, right before I started, they started building the train level, and it took all two years to make mm, it well, perfect, right? <laughs> and then with this game, actually, the same guy who designed the train um, started designing the cruise ship, and he started designing it. Uh, like a month after we finished Uncharted 2, Great and it guy. took that that too long, right? To, to that long to make it work. <laughs> um, but it, you know, it comes from everywhere. Like uh, when we did the cruise ship, he started building it as a freighter, and uh, as we sunk it and tried to flip it over, we realized you couldn't tell the difference between the floors no, and the walls, the, right? The it all looks the same. Yeah, yeah. And so he decided to make it a cruise ship instead. And then you know, we went to Amy and said like, this is what we want to do. And then she wrote in this whole piece of the story to involve a cruise ship. And so uh, it sort of comes from everywhere, everywhere in the studio. Hmm. Uh, the multiplayer in Uncharted 2 was well received, but uh, 
but was mainly a rough construction if you compare it to the new uh, sure, yeah. MP. Yeah. Uh, you guys, uh, you guys are getting all the big guns out to make this the number one multiplayer on the PS3. Mm -hmm. uh, what are some unique elements of Uncharted on P, uh, MP, and what big improvements are introduced? I mean, yeah. you have to, you have to have something unique. You, I'm sure. not sure with all the metals and all. Yeah, that. I mean, I think uh, you know, it's it's everything. First of all, our mechanics are really different from anything else out there. We're not mm -hmm. just a shooter, right? You've got climbing and, and melee and cover and shooting and all that stuff combined. We have um, you know, the metal kickback system where you can give yourself a temporary advantage. We have boosters that work within those systems that are really, really unique. You can add all these different guns yourself. But I think um, we had the, the buddy system, which is brand new, which no one else is doing on the PS3, where you, know, you can spawn in on your buddy and like, you two can play together and get advantages for playing together. You can go over and high-five him you <laughs> know, and get extra medals and stuff, um, encouraging that kind of gameplay. Um, actually, you know, built into to Team Deathmatch now, we have the power play idea, which no one's ever done before, where if the game gets, you know, slight starts to separate too much, it tries to keep the score closer to make the game even more interesting. Uh, but it doesn't unbalance it because uh, the one team, first of all, if they catch up, it just turns off right away. Uh, but even if they don't catch up, they're never, you know, a really good team's always going to beat a really bad yeah, team. Skill is still involved. Um, but I think we bring all that stuff, plus we have these crazy cinema mode tools where you can upload clips to YouTube and Facebook. You can see your real Facebook friends with their names and their Facebook pictures yeah, in the interface. Cool. Yeah, I think there's a lot of stuff we bring to the table. Okay, and my last one. So what's next now? What's next? <laughs> I guess DLC, uh, yeah. of, uh, of yeah. course. Well, we definitely have DLC. I mean, we actually have a lot of DLC and, and stuff that uh, in the next few weeks, we're actually, we, we can't talk about it quite yet. We're, we're just finishing it off, but, uh, you know, finishing off the details of what we're going to do. Um, but we have a ton of DLC planned for this game and some some cool stuff that I think people so are really going to like. no off time for you guys. No, no off time, yeah, just keep on going. I mean, people are going to take a vacation now. We just finished last week and we'll chill out a little bit and then uh, come back and just hit it hard, you know, get the stuff going again. Uh, and then who knows what's next. I think, you know, we never really said how many of these things we're going to do. So it's not, you know, every time it's a new adventure. So we'll see if, if we decide to do Uncharted and the fans follow us, great. Or if we decide to do something else, you know, it's, it's equally interesting. So, okay. Yeah. Well, that's all. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah.